In the year of 2018, a fire at a building of a major telecom company paralyzed networks in parts of capital Seoul. And to prevent further disruptions due to a reliance on any one particular carrier, South Korea's three major mobile carriers have created a disaster roaming system. Our Park Se-young explains. After a fire broke out in the basement of a KT building in central Seoul in 2018, Phone and internet services, cash machines, and in-store payment systems in the area were paralyzed. To prevent such network blackouts from happening again, the government and the three major mobile carriers have established a system that makes urgent use of other carriers' networks in case of damage to a carrier space station. Phones automatically connect to another company's network in about 20 seconds without users having to do anything. Roaming will be provided on all devices within an hour. Protection for our customers is provided, and roaming is provided within the remaining capacity. For the new system, the three mobile carriers have established separate networks of about 1 million lines each, and the government has decided to dedicate personnel exclusively for inspecting base stations. Disasters can occur unexpectedly no matter how well prepared we are. We decided to double up the network itself and duplicate the power supply to prevent blackouts. Users of 4G and 5G networks can use the service automatically, while 3G users must purchase SIM cards from other mobile carriers. Park Se-young, Arirang News.